Hi guys, Alex Peak Performance Reviews. Welcome to another vlog and welcome to another video in the Supra. Um, obviously it's been a little while and I wanted to give you a bit of an update on what's happening with it really. Um, but yeah, nothing too much to write home about. Um, the car has been absolutely amazing since I've had it back. It's actually feeling amazing. And I wanted to just kind of give you a little uh, snapshot of me going out in the car. So you've got a little bit of um, video, you know, with me and car here in the car and letting the car do the talking. Um, I have had some weird little misfire issues to do with an alternator, having a problem with it. Um, I've done that, so you won't see that documented as such. But yeah, I'm gonna change the spark plugs and I'm also gonna do a little bit of thing, uh, something with the coil packs. I feel like there may be a connection issue with them. So I'm gonna take off the billet holder and try not having the holder on and see if that uh, fixes things. Could be some kind of a weird connection to there. Uh, and then just check out the Cyvex and log it and then just see what's going on. Hopefully we can uh, sort that out today. And I'll go for a little drive and take you on my little journey out in it, I suppose. So yeah, if you've got any co comments, hit us up in the comment section. And without further ado, let's go drive. Right, so we've got the battery back on, uh, the core packs are all on. Um, just gonna get the my laptop hooked up to the Cyvex just to see, uh, turn it on, see if we've got any error codes to reset, um, and then just go for a drive and then, yeah, like I say, join us in, in car uh, for the video and see what happens. Right, so yeah, let's go, uh, let's go give it a drive. Uh, Cyvex is uh, on, um, no errors uh, present, which I've just checked over. So everything's all good there. Um, and yeah, everything seems okay. This does have a weird kind of almost TPS issue low down between 2000 and 3000 RPM, which you may hear. Just needs a little bit of refinement, I think, on the TPS, um, TPS switch side of things. Remain did do something uh, that I asked him to do and it actually made it worse, but that was my own fault. We then was at the end of the time session where we logged. Um, so Remain never had a chance to check it over, but um, I said if anything that has made it worse, but it's not his fault, it's because I've told him something and he's changed it to see if it would make it better, but it's made it a little bit worse low down. So we need a little bit of refinement. We need a little bit of dyno ro stroke road uh, tune at the time, but more than anything, because of the changes in the core packs, I just want to see up top uh, how the changes have made things feel. Hopefully you don't get too much wind buffering from the window being open, but I'll give it a go. And you should be able to hear. But let's uh, let's see. No lock, so no no errors so far. It does feel quite a bit better. Um, 
I'm not too low on fuel, which is good, so it can't be any issue. Although I am using, I don't want to say the dreaded B power, because it's, it, in, by and large, it's a very good fuel. But after I've seen lots of tests, I am thinking of switching out to Tesco's 99 if you are in the UK. Uh, I've seen tests from um, uh, Officially Gassed, and I do like that from um, Devil Developments, and they've gone really, really into detail as to why Tesco's 99 fuel seems to be a lot more consistent now than uh, Shell V Power 99. So I'm thinking of making the switch over to Tesco's 99. At the end of the day, if it makes a little bit more power than Shell 99 at uh, V Power, and it's more stable and debt, debt retentive, um, much better anti-debt properties, then hell, I'd rather go to it without a shadow of a doubt. So I'm thinking of making the switch. I mean, I don't go out in this car a crazy amount of time, so it does sit in, you know, it's a big tank as well, sometimes it sits on one tank for numerous re uh, weeks. Not that often, because it obviously drinks. It does between uh, anything from three to 11 miles per gallon, typically when I'm on it, um, or between seven and even up to 30, I kid you not, uh, if I'm careful. But yeah, let's just ramp it up a little bit more. It does feel, it does feel a lot smoother. Uh, but until I really open it, I'm not gonna know. <laughs> yeah, it feels, it feels better. It feels better. It really does. Um, now, I have to go out on it a little bit more before I definitively can say that, but let's have a look. Um, I think there's no doubt it needs a bit of refinement on the TPS low down, but uh, in gear rolling, to me, once it's out of that horrible zone where I'm having that low down issue, it feels smoother up top. until I go home I won't know what's, uh, what's happened but I've had issues today with my GoPro left right and center I've updated it updated it and for some reason it just keeps turning off and if I'm honest um, I am 
really get fed up with GoPros. I have had no issues, and sorry for the rant. They are so unreliable. Um, I've just gone, I've, I've just bought a DJI Action 2, and it's a really nice bit of kit, um, but that doesn't seem to last very long with its battery. In all fairness, it only had about 40% battery, but it really hasn't lasted very long. So I'm not sure whether um, we, what, what footage we got there for you guys. So um, I'm gonna summarize. Um, I've just looked through the logs. Uh, Cyvex is all good. There's absolutely no errors. So it still feels like either there's a weird mechanical issue or um, the maps just need a little bit of refinement. And to be honest with you, I think it's gonna be best now to go to uh, Remain. I'll just check over a few more things. I can't see anything uh, untoward and weird um, and that isn't right on this car. Everything's absolutely superb. The oil's all good, it looks beautiful. I'm probably gonna do an oil and a um, filter change uh, before I go to the uh, dyno. But hopefully in the next kind of couple of months I'm gonna get a dyno session booked, do some road mapping as well with Remain and get everything refined, including the, um, the race fuel maps. Um, and just get the car on the highest maps and go out and kind of enjoy the car. But it, since I've had this back, it has been absolutely amazing. I'm not sure whether I'm having issues uh, from fuel. I've he heard that a lot of people are now having issues with V-Power and that's what my car is mapped on pump fuel. So I wouldn't mind maybe switching, making a switch um, over to Tesco's 99, which I think there's been some studies um, with Devil Developments and uh, Officially Gas, and they've done some great, uh, a great vid up on that uh, about actually how not as consistent V power is anymore. It's still one of the better fuels out there, but some people are having issues with consistency. Now, although the Cyvex is very clever, because it's so clever, it will detect any shit stuff and it will just, um, you know, save and be, and be very extra cautious which is a good thing and that may be what it may be doing because it's not really seeing anything so much on there like there's any major issue and i hear that uh, tesco's 99 is way more stable so i may be doing something um i, I think i'll remap it with, with tesco's 99 i mean not only is it more stable and that's what um, devil developments and officially gas are saying it's also cheaper at the end of the day so why waste another you know especially in something like this probably 120 pound fuel for the uh, in of, in v pal would probably only be 110 pound i know it's not a lot it's dropping the ocean but hey it's a saving at the end of the day so i think i'm gonna do that anyway guys everything's all good um i don't know whether the changes have made any difference i think they probably haven't to be fair so i may put the billet bracket probably back on um but uh yeah that's a little update video on the super there's lots to come i'm going to get a dyno session and i'm going to be there with it this time so you'll see it on the dyno see what it makes on the highest pump fuel settings uh up and the highest uh, race fuel settings um hope you enjoyed the little short video um little update of um what's kind of coming i'm out and about about to shoot a uh ferrari 488 um do some rolling shots finish off a video that i've got a, of a review coming up on that um, guys, thank you for the support as always and thank you uh, for watching. As always, like, share, comment and subscribe and we'll see you again in the next one. Bye for now.